Good morning, you're from FloridaAlley.net and I'm Kim Parr. I'm with Barry Richards with Rockwell Group in New York who has collaborated with Shaw Contract on Exminster Collection. We'll get to that in just a minute. Barry, how you doing? I'm doing really well. It's a good day in New York. It's a cool fall day. Yesterday was hot. So one of the things I want to start with is the fact that you didn't have to travel to come to this show, which makes sense for why the show's here, right? I did not have to travel. In fact, this morning I just got on my bike and just biked down to get here. So it was super convenient. I think we all love it. All of our designers love it because it's in our back door. You know, we can just come here in our backyard and, like, find a convenient place to see everything and see everything conveniently, particularly the things we're looking for in hospitality. Yeah. It's also a great place to people watch. If you haven't done doing that today? Oh, I always do that. I like when they dress up, and they're now beginning to dress up again for coming back out to the trade shows, dressing nicely. So it's always good to see that. I was amazed when I got here. I thought, oh, I'll come in and get my ticket. The line was so super long, so you can tell there a lot of energy, a lot of excitement to return to trade shows. So it's good timing. So we've been watching the Architectural Billing Index, and it's telling us that uh, the design business is still gathering steam, right? I mean, it's a, it's a good business to be in. It's always a good business to be <laughs> I've done it for a while. Yeah, the business is good. Business has been very good for the past couple of years. Clients have come back. They're you know, looking for more projects globally. We are kind of bursting at the seams, and we have to kind of keep control over what we're taking on because it's hard to get enough people to do everything we need to do right now. But we've grown. We got a little bigger. We have a lot of projects going on, a lot of exciting projects. Yeah. Talk about your history with Shaw Contract. I mean, I remember interviewing you around an ingrain product that you designed, and now you've worked on the soft side with an Axminster collection, right? Yeah, we have, this is our eighth collection with Shaw. It's been really a great collaboration, amazing. I was saying, it's really great to work with people you like, your friends, and they feel like every time we come back and start a collection, it's good to talk about what we like, what we want to see. Uh, we've done like the LVT collection, which had a wood grain, an end grain look, and we've done Broadloom, but this is our first chance to really work in Axminster. And Axminster is a new kind of capability that Shaw is bringing in, and it's amazing to have a full range of products that we can work on. We love the idea of color and vibrancy that um, Axminster brings, so we really leaned into that. And you know Axminster's built to last, right? It's uh, That's why a lot of clients like it. It's the maintenance is built to last. So I think this really helps, you know, complete the picture for Shaw. And in our world, we've always, you know, used a lot of Axminster. So it was fun to kind of tackle it from the um, design product side, creating something. I've seen, like, strike-offs everywhere in their office and really take that vibrant, colorful look and make something that's distinctive for Shaw Contract and Hospitality. Give us a few more details about this particular product. Well, this product, we have uh, like four patterns. We were inspired by the idea of going to the south of France because you know, we often see Axminster in casinos. We began to think like James Bond and like you know, being in Mon- uh, Monaco and playing Baccarat and imagine that whole south of France vibe and trying to bring that into the look of you know, vibrancy of being on the beach and the, um, the cabanas and also in the water and coral and even at night at the disco. So it's really kind of trying to capture that southern south of France vibrancy, colorful place you want to be, particularly in the sort of coming out of the pandemic. You think of those places that are outside and nature and how to connect with them. So that was our kind of idea is to kind of connect to nature, connect to a sort of vibrant, colorful look, and tie into kind of classic nature of Axminster, of, you know, thinking of uh, where it might be located. And so it has a really great, it's an 80% wool, it's a natural product, easy to maintain, a long life lifestyle. So it's any product that is, you know, lasts a long time is, is much more sustainable. So it's really a great pleasure to work with that as well. And uh, attaching the Rockwell brand to it will actually bring more attention to it as well, right? I think so. You know, we've um, been doing products for a good long time, and we like to create those products that we are always looking for in hospitality and, you know, filling that need and kind of connecting with different great, you know, collaborators and getting their, working with their capabilities. But it's about, you know, trying to find interesting places that we can create hospitality style products, things that are unique, distinctive, become features in the, um, in the landscape of the interiors. So we always kind of look to create things like that. So as you know, this business is really doing well right now, especially on the renovation side. Mm-hmm. And you, we're in New York City, and so people have got to wonder, with all this real estate here, what's going to happen in the office market? You know, what's the latest thinking from the Rockwell Group around the use of these office spaces? 
That's a hard question, super hard question. Everyone wants, to, everyone wants to know the answer. What we think about is flexibility, adaptability. When we design places, we want places that you know, can live into the future so you can configure them, reconfigure them in different ways. You know, having a great floor, great surfaces to kind of work with is, is a start. But I think we're going to need flexibility so that as people come back and work in different ways, so we can kind of support that, support unique kind of situations where they come together in groups. And I think when they, people do come back, they want to come to back to to collaborate, to be in groups. And if they're going to work solitary, they want to kind of be at home, so we have to work with that mix. And so when they do come back, you want vibrant, sort of exciting places that are hospitality-like that kind of can invite that. So we try to bring our hospitality vibe into a workplace to kind of bring amenities, make people sort of want to come back to work. Speaking about that, and one more com- quick comment about people watching. People here are, are less formal, a little bit more relaxed about what they're wearing, which it kind of carries into uh, what, what we're seeing from an interior perspective, right? Absolutely. I think we've been in the sort of casualization of everything for a good long time. But, you know, athleisure wear, you know, wearing, I, all I wanted to wear was shorts and T-shirts throughout the whole uh, pandemic so I could bike to work, you know, easily work out. And uh, it's hard to go into like long pants again and, you know, button up shirt. But I think that sense of being, you know, really relaxed is kind of important. I think people are, it's glamorous, but it's very relaxed at the same time. So it's kind of a relaxed, casual look that I think we are all aspiring to. So you look good in a photograph. So you can be photographed on Instagram. I think that's a really interesting mix of like, looking casual, but then having a little bit of glamorous touch to it is important. I think that collection uh, does that as Soleil de Mer. Yeah. All right, Barry, thanks for spending time with us. Again, been talking to Barry Richards, uh, hey, principal Rockwell. and studio leader with the Rockwell Group in New York, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloridaLA.net.